Hi, my name is Julie Roca, and I am an independent senior living consultant here in Gainesville, Florida, and we are going to discuss everything senior living here in Gainesville, but not only Gainesville, we want to discuss things uh, that apply to every senior or people that are looking at aging successfully. So today I have in the studio a good friend of mine. Christina Ramos. Hi, Julie. Thanks for having us today. Excited to be here. Thanks for coming. So Christina is from Touching Hearts at Home. And uh, this was a small business that her family uh, started, owns, and operates. Mm -hmm. And Christina is currently the executive director and administrator there for Touching Home, Touching Hearts at Home. Um, And Christina also is an adjunct professor at the University of Florida in the College of Health and Human Performance and serves on the board of elder care of Alachua County. You were recently inducted into the university's Hall of Fame, and you were recognized as one of the top 40 under 40 Gators. I'm so proud of Thank you. Thank you, Julie. We appreciate so that. So many great things. Um, you are a busy, busy lady. I see you buzzing around every <laughs> And you too. <laughs> um, and I, I want to talk to you about some of the other things that you do that – you and I have the same heart for. Um, for sure. But first of all, I wanted for you to tell us a little bit about Touching Hearts at Home and how you and your family got involved in this. Sure. I'd love to share this story. So I know you know, but um, we actually started Touching Hearts at Home out of a need. When my Nana was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and dementia, it flipped our worlds upside down, and I'm sure a lot of listeners can yeah. relate. Yeah. Um, she was fully independent, managing her finances, driving, living on her own, taking care of all of her ADLs, and doing her hygiene perfectly. No signs up to just one week. Suddenly and abruptly wow. and rapidly, her neurologist said it was one of the most progressive cases they've ever seen. Um, wow. So immediately, you know, short-term memory gone, couldn't remember to brush her teeth, to eat, to toilet properly. Um, And my family just said, that's it. We're going to move her in with us. So huge life change for her, obviously. Lose those car keys, lose your home, you know, have to be protected. She was also a wander risk too. So we had to rely on 24-7 around-the-clock home care. And unfortunately or fortunately, because of where it led us to today, um, we had a lot of really – bad experiences. <laughs> and with every experience, my family would call the state of Florida trying to learn more about the laws and the industry as a whole operating here in the state of Florida. Um, and I'm really proud of my parents. My mom and dad yeah. together just really felt like it was a calling. Um, and my dad quit his job in banking over That's, you know 50 years in banking wow. and said, we're going to do this the right way, the only way we know how. And we're going to serve seniors and adults with disabilities and really do home care the way it should be done with a lot of heart. So, Well, he really went after that. If you're going to do something right, you got to do it yourself. For sure. Yep. I can see your dad doing that, too. <laughs> and my mom, too. <laughs> and she your was mom. a huge part of this. Your mom maintained another career, too, in the beginning of, oh, yeah. of this whole thing. Oh, she was yeah. a dedicated teacher, She's right? She's awesome. She was in education for over 42 years till she retired. And is still with us, working in the company. My dad's our chief executive officer. She's our office assistant, loves to answer the phones, run errands, visit clients. And dance at like every event. Oh, yeah. (laughs) You know, whatever we can do to serve and then bring people joy. That's what it's all about. Oh, I love that so much. I love the hearts of all of your family. Thank you. Yeah. So um, who is it that you help? You kind of touched on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't just help our our seniors and our elderly. Sure. So, more. you know, we can help people young or old as long as they're adults. Mm-hmm. Um, we've helped college students having quick surgeries where they need a recovery period to yeah. Adults with disabilities, adults undergoing chemo or operations or transplants. Um, Uh, But our specialties, we really focus on the Alzheimer's and dementia component. That's where our heart is with my grandmother Mm -hmm. and 
all the experiences and education and learning we've done through that. It's really a blessing to be able to help others and families yeah. navigate yes. that kind of critical period. Um, but we also work with hospice care. Um, yeah, yeah. It's 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 amazing. It's it's great work. And sometimes um, when I am working with a family on placement and people need to go from living in their home, uh, maybe they're independent at home, mm-hmm. or maybe they're moving to a new memory support scenario, mm-hmm. sometimes it's a real blessing to have uh, one of your sure. caregivers come in for maybe even the first week or two to kind of yep. just get them used to being in the community, giving yep. them that extra hands-on and attention that that transition period is critical and maybe it's someone going to the hospital for a short period of time or rehab Mm -hmm. or just even coming back home from a long hospital stay yeah it really helps them kind of get their equilibrium back baseline yes and i love what you say about moving into a new community yep um it always warms my heart we really take it upon ourselves and our care team our care partners when someone's moving into a brand new facility, it is very um, endearing to really try mm-hmm. and help them make friends because yes. it's overwhelming. Oh, my goodness. Yes. So our caregiver can be that person that breaks the ice. Hi, I'm Christina. Have you met Mrs. Sally or Mr. Bob? She's new here, just moved in. What's I your love name? That. And so we can really facilitate, you know, that sense of belonging and community when they first get there, which is so cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Another thing that I've seen your caregivers do is um, really help to bring that new resident into all of the activities oh, that yeah. the community offers oh, because yeah. sometimes it's it's hard to navigate those on yep. your own if yep. you're a senior and you've been living on your own and maybe you've been living very quietly yep. and isolated at home. Or depressed. Or depressed. You know. And so having that extra person to say, hey, come along. Here's what we have Bingo. going. <laughs> it's just really helpful. Yep. I love that. And the engagement, Julie, as you know, is so crucial. You know, there's there's obviously the person that just wants to sit in front of the TV and maybe not move. But we yeah. know that the social engagement, cognitive engagement there is so important yes. for all of us to be stimulated daily yeah. and to really try and get them out of that comfort zone and out. Engaged. Yeah. Engaged. It's so important. Yeah. And now... Touching Hearts at Home is um, has got a pretty broad reach here. Oh, yeah. Because so. I know I've worked with Touching Hearts in Lake City. Um, yeah. So tell us where you guys are. Yeah, so we cover 11 counties in north central Ooh. Florida. It's a lot of fun. Um, but, you know, we, we would encourage anybody looking for care to call. And, of course, if it's within our licensed area, we will be there in a heartbeat. And something that our family believes strongly in is, you know, if it's something that we can't help you with, we're not just going to hang up the phone or say no. Right. We're going to put you in contact with the right resources and the right other guides like you. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, And you guys have same-day starts, right? Oh, yeah. So that's that's the beauty of it, and I think that's one of those key learnings that we as a family learned before starting Touching Hearts at Home. Yeah. You know, some agencies would tell us, well, give us two weeks and then we can start. Emergencies happen. People mm-hmm. need care when they need care. Yeah. A hospital yeah. might call a family and say, today by 4 p.m., you got to be out. We're discharging home. We need the bed. She's ready to go. And, you know, you can't really always predict these things. Right. So we want to be available whenever our clients are. So as long as... We have all the proper state paperwork and, and different things that the state requires. We can get started same day. Great. And we'll run through walls for our clients. So That's awesome. Yeah. So I, uh, we are headed into summer. Oh, yeah. Um, I am going on a cruise. Ooh, I love this And I you. can barely think <laughs> about anything else. So, of course, uh, one of my top thoughts right now is vacation. Yeah. Um, but I, I am very fortunate because I can just pack up my kids and all I have to worry about is making sure my puppies are taken care of. Yeah. Uh, in this case, my husband is not able to go and he's going to stay home with our dogs. So, yep. no, oh. no issues. <laughs> um, but... For those people who are caregivers, mm-hmm. um, they are, they'll call me and they're guilty and they say, well, you know, the family's going on a cruise. Mm-hmm. I don't think that I should go because I can't leave my loved one alone. Right. Um, I had someone say, I, I went on a, um, 
on a high school reunion, and I begged my wife to go. Um, but she is showing some signs of dementia, and she is not in that phase where she's got the coping skills to go to something like that. And yeah, so it can be really overwhelming, too. Yes. And so even though um, she can stay by herself, mm-hmm. it didn't go well. It mm-hmm. didn't go well when he returned. And um, so... It, So I wanted to talk to you specifically about some ways that caregivers can go on vacation and and what that looks like and how you guys can help and how they can prepare. Yeah, sure. So, you know, respite care comes into play here. Sometimes family caregivers, and I say sometimes, but all times, it's overwhelming, as we know, mentally, physically, Mm -hmm. emotionally draining Sometimes a vacation is just what the doctor ordered, you know, reset, recharge, and really look out for yourself and also your loved one. They need you to be having that kind of fun and taking proper care of yourself. So it depends. It's different strokes for different folks. You know, our our caregivers are well-versed in, you know, meeting new people and making sure that their client is relaxed and confident and trusts them, likes them. Mm -hmm. Um, With our plan of care program and our training with our caregivers, they know everything top to bottom about the client before they ever set foot in the home. But a good orientation period, like you're talking about, some families are all for it. And most of the time, it's for their peace of mind. (laughs) Right, right. And their comfort level. So they can make sure, you know, that all the what ifs, they're checking all those boxes to make sure everything's good. And I regularly will recommend that um, the caregivers already start to kind of put their toes in the home. Yeah. So that um, they kind of know where everything is in the home. And so that um, the, the client feels like they have a friend that's coming. Yeah. So they're not being suddenly left by family True. and all of a sudden now there's this stranger. They feel like, hey, my friend is here yep. and I'm going to be with my friend so I'm not alone. And I, yeah. I always love that. Yeah, no, that's great. And, you know, if families want that, we make it happen. Yeah, for sure. So um, I wanted to share one of your caregivers was on Facebook the other day And, you know, even if your loved one can't go for an extended vacation, that doesn't mean that they can't go out and have a great time. Have have a day, a Mm -hmm. day trip, a couple of hours. One of your caregivers took one of your clients. Should we do the reveal? Yes. On a kayak, and it is adorable. You can find this on the Touching Hearts at Home Facebook page. Oh, yeah. This man looks like he's having an absolute blast. Yeah. And um, took him out uh, to the springs, maybe. Itchitutuckney. Itchitutuckney Springs and a kayak. Uh, And he was beaming from ear to ear. Those are the kinds of things you love to see. He's engaged. Oh, yeah. He's having a great time. I bet he slept really well at night. I bet she slept really well that night. There was an ice cream (laughs) visit after the outing. Oh, my goodness. There was a nice outing for lunch. Um, And, you know, it was just all around. That's that's what we aim for. So, yeah, it doesn't have to be just a caregiver coming to sit in the home. Yeah. It can be a caregiver taking your loved one on an adventure. And I love that. I absolutely love that. So touching hearts at home is huge in our community, and uh, it's not just huge for the great care that you give to your clients, but it's also huge for the great things that you guys do in the community. You. Um, you have been a chair in the Alzheimer's Association, which is Aren't where you good? guys, <laughs> you and I worked well together. Um, you have been on uh, the the chair or a co-chair of the American Heart Association, mm-hmm. also in the March of Dimes. Um, and I love your work with uh, Catholic Charities and now you're the incoming president of the Greater Gainesville Rotary Club. So I don't know when you sleep, girl, <laughs> but your heart, I just absolutely Thank love you, it. Julie. Yeah. What are some of the things that you have had the maybe the most fun with, have been the most fulfilling? Okay, Tell me great some question. About those so this year, now that, thank the Lord above, we're out of COVID yes, and we can God. have events and we can meet You know, we were doing a Christmas carol and cookies event at the Senior Center. 
And it just warmed our hearts because so many of the seniors dressed up to the nines to come out at 4 p.m. on a random day in December. And to us, our takeaway, one, it was so much fun and they loved the cookies we made. Um, But number two, when we told people how nice they looked or how pretty they looked or handsome, Mm -hmm. you know, they told us this is the only occasion I get to dress up for the holidays. I don't have friends or family that we don't we don't celebrate like that in their their family or their life. So we decided from there we wanted to give people a reason to get dressed up and to celebrate. And February, we like to say, is Touching Hearts at Home Month, the, the month of love and yes. hearts. So we came up with this great idea to have a senior prom. And thanks to support with some of our community partners, yes. uh, we were able to create this event to benefit Elder Care of Alachua County, as well as the Alzheimer's Association. Actually, Heart American Heart Association, the other events yes. we did. <laughs> yeah, the wrong charity, but... We saw seniors coming out of the woodworks. It was free you to did. attend. We had the best singer ever, Mr. Rat Pack, oh. Sinatra, Frank, uh, Mark, Mark, excuse me, Mark Raish. Mark Raish. We love him. His voice. <laughs> he's amazing. And he does so many good works for nursing homes yep. and rehabs all over. He came out and graced us with those tunes of past in their era. And these men and women dressed up in the best outfits that they had. We had men in tuxedos. Uniforms, didn't you? Uniforms. We had ladies yes. in flapper dress and jewelry. These flapper dresses were not an Amazon special. These they were real from their closet. vintage, you know, from the time. <laughs> these adults looked lovely. And uh. to see them just beaming from ear to ear. One woman, she brought her high school prom photos. Um, One lady celebrated her 90th birthday with us at the prom. We had cupcakes and lemonade. Um, The best part of the entire event and one of the most rewarding parts of my entire career. Um, One of our clients came. She has pretty bad dementia. Um, It's it's progressing over the Mm -hmm. years. And her son and her daughter-in-law decided to bring her to the prom, wearing a gate belt Aww. with her walker. Aww. Her son takes his mom out to the <gasps> dance floor. And we're kind of all watching it. I'm getting I chills just thinking of it. And you could tell just by the look on her face, she was kind of just going with the motions and staring out into, you know, left field or wherever. But as soon as that song ended, you could tell she had this moment of clarity. Uh. And her son went to give her a little embrace. And she was looking up at him thinking, do I know this person? Who is this? And when she saw his face, it clicked. And she knew that was her son. And she lit up like a Christmas tree. And it was incredible. Oh, uh, that is a a career moment right there. Monumental. Yeah. So then, you know, as we're talking about this, we know she used to be a dancer, a ballroom dancer with her husband. Okay. So this really brought back the memories of, you know, what she loved most. So it was just so cool. (gasps) Music Um, and movement, man. It can unlock those parts of the brain that have been so isolated and shut down for so long. And her feet knew what to do. I mean, she maybe didn't realize that she was out on a dance floor at a senior prom, but she knew what to do. That muscle memory was there. It was so I love cool. that. So and I cool. hadn't heard that story before. So you about made me cry. <laughs> Definitely gave Good me tears. goosebumps. Good tears. Yes. Oh, yeah. The yeah, goosebumps yeah. always. So how does someone get in touch with you if they want to volunteer sure. or they need your services? How Absolutely. can How can they get in touch with you? So Google Touching Hearts at Home Gainesville or okay. whatever city you live in. Um, our phone number is 352 352- Two two five three seven two seven, and I'm always on call twenty four seven. So when it's outside okay. of office hours, those phones roll to my cell, um, and we'll be happy to help. You know, people can call us for resources, for help, for information. We know as a family when we were going through this, we wish mm-hmm. there was someone we could have called or asked or helping yes. us navigate or to learn different levels of care, health care versus home care, you know, Alzheimer's and dementia. I, I can't even talk to my mom without, you know, having to correct her. We want to give people resources and strategies and hope. So yeah, we'd I be happy that. to be there for them. And speaking of giving things to people. 
You Ooh. brought a raffle oh, gift yeah. so for my listeners. Talking about vacation, we were inspired. So we've got a nice little beach kit here with a cocktail set, a couple of margaritas <laughs> in there, some flip-flops, a beach towel. But yeah, we just wanted to thank you for having us, Julie. And thank you know, you. it's really important what you do. I hope your listeners will enjoy. So how should we do this? How do they how do we raffle this? Should they like our like and share? Yeah, like and share. And um and then you will be entered for yep. this raffle. And we will pick this raffle one week after airing. Uh, after airing. Okay, cool. So. And if they have to like Touching Hearts at Home, too, to win. Okay. It, they, you must like Touching Hearts at Home and um, and our our podcast and share. Because yeah. without you guys sharing, we won't get anywhere. Feel free to leave some questions as well that oh, you might sure. have for Christina or for me. I will leave a link that you can reach out to me. And if you have any questions, we'd love to help. Thank you so much. Oh, so cool. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us, Julie.